And But now we have a really interesting story I think you're going to enjoy. It's a good one as well. A cat teaching us that there's no place like home. Laura Kirtley was in Crawfordsville today, and she's got the story. On August 12th, Doris the cat went missing. It was also the first day of school for her owner, fifth grade teacher Anita Harris. Anita's husband took the cat to the vet, but then the unthinkable happened. I saw it, the veterinarian. I could not go in there, so I tried to escape. Harris used the experience in her classroom. Here's student Callie Saunders' version of what happened. My fight was a success, for that cheap plastic cage was no match for my defensive claws. He spent three hours looking for her, but it's surrounded by a deep woods and a cornfield. And then, of course, Walmart and a lot of other businesses. I started to walk through a cornfield. I think it was eternal. They continued to search for the cat, but after two weeks, the Harrises gave up hope. After all, Doris was an indoor cat who had never been away from home. When I got hungry, I would catch some field mice. She would have to survive in the wild, find her way through miles of open fields, and safely cross three busy highways. After nearly three weeks of trying to find her way home, Doris made her way through the bean and corn fields just outside her house. And Anita Harris says she couldn't believe it when she looked out the back door and found Doris sitting there. I ran as hard as I could and finally made it out. And she came right in through that screen and sat right there and looked at me like, I'm back. What are you going to do about this? <laughs> it was amazing. I was amazed she survived and found her way back home. I'd always heard dogs did that, but not cats. She did return a much thinner cat with calloused paws. Everyone was so happy to see me, and I'll never eat corn again, and I'll never escape. Love, Doris. Harris says Doris is adjusting to life back at home, and now rarely leaves her side. Laura Kirtley, News Channel 18. What a heartwarming story. I love that cat. Yeah. Yeah. I, I love too. the story that went with it that the little girl wrote. Yeah, that, yeah, that was the cutest part. And she yeah. got home just in time before the weather turns really cold. Oh yeah, it's certainly going to get cold tonight.